good morning or yeah still morning <laughs> good thirsty morning the day after my 40th birthday or my 50th birthday <laughs> birthday <laughs> okay I know I confused the hound out of some of y'all <laughs> and when you confuse the hound out of somebody that means you just really confused them <sighs> yeah yesterday the big 6-0 I can't even believe it <laughs> has traded lives with me. I'm not this old. <laughs> oh, but I am. February the 24th, 1956. 56 was a very good year. Yeah. 60 yesterday. I know some of you were, because I said something about 40, and some of you, and I said, no, not really 50. And my cousin, um, I think it was on Facebook, she put um, liar liar pants on fire which is I think one of the funniest statements and my eyes are just pouring water since I've come out into the into the air they're dry and I don't know why I put on eye makeup because I end up washing half of it away hold on God, I hate dry eyes anyway she lives down in Florida and she put liar liar pants on fire and so and I said well it's it's my birthday and I get to lie the way I want to. Don't you know that rule? <laughs> and then she came back and said, I can smell the smoke all the way down here. <laughs> and that's what Leah and Live called me yesterday. And she told me, well, we would get you a cake, but the candles would cause the fire alarm to go off and there wouldn't be enough place to put all the candles. Wah, wah, wah. Kick your butt. Um, now, I will tell you, turning 40 did not bother me. Turning 50 didn't bother me. But 60, it's an odd ring to it for me. But you know what? I told John the night before when we laid down in bed, I said, is it okay to be depressed about turning 60? And he's like, yeah, I would. Not the answer I needed from my husband. <laughs> I said, baby, you're supposed to say, no, it's fine. Everything's fine. You're gorgeous. It's no, no biggie. You're, 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 yeah, he didn't do it. He said, I, see, he wrote on my um, birthday card, John finds the most beautiful, perfect cards. And um, he bought me the most beautiful card and it has a little banner hanging on it and it says wife and the little banner actually moves it is adorable and uh but anyway he put on the outside on the envelope to my cougar of a wife i am six years older than john uh most of you know or a lot of you know if you've watched any of my videos i was married 21 years and went through a divorce and um wasn't the kind of girl that divorced. But anyway, John had worked at the college with us, or he, he did, and I thought the world of him, but because he was, I didn't know he was six years younger, I just knew he was younger. And I knew I knew when I first started working there that he even dated some of the college students, of course, some of the, you know, older ones. But he was just the young guy that worked in computer services. <laughs> So, never, never dreamed I would go through a divorce. Never, never dreamed that John Lott and I, I asked him one time, I said, when did it change? When I, I tried to fix him up with girls from my church when I was married. I just thought the world of him, and at that time I was still a secretary, and he, he came in one day, he'll kill me for telling this, but he asked my boss, he said, you know any good Christian girls that are single? And my boss pointed out, she said, you need to talk to Suzanne. She goes over there to that big church. And I said, heck yeah. We've got some um, great young ladies in our church. And, I, and one came to mind, 
just almost immediately and I said you want me you want to give me your number and and, and uh, I, I said do you want to give me your number or um, do you want me to get her number and of course this was not 1994 before you know all the social media and all that stuff and so he said well just get her number and I'll call her which was the way people did back then so well I'm stopped here on this little road I can see I'm working ahead but I don't see anything being done but the reason I stopped talking to y'all I got a phone call that I have a delivery a floral delivery at my house Wonder who that could be from. I'm going to pick mother up and we're going to go do some lunch, so I'll have to go back to the house now because they were just going to leave it on the front porch. And uh, so I'll have to go back and see who I got flowers from. Goodness gracious, it's exciting! But let me finish telling you what I was telling you about John. So I talked to this young lady at church and I asked her, Would she be interested? I said, You know, from everything I know about him, he's a nice young man, he's never been married before. So she, she said, sure. So they talked a couple of times. And so since I knew him and since I knew her, I, I told them, I said, I'll cook spaghetti one night if y'all want to come over and kind of get to know each other. And they just thought that was a great idea since they were just meeting, you know, cold turkey for the first time. And so I can't remember. Of course, John remembers none of this. <laughs> you know us women. He says, I've got an elephant brain that I remember everything. So, I can't remember who couldn't meet on that particular time, but one of them couldn't meet. And so, and I had kind of planned it, and I said, okay, y'all are on your own. Well, I don't know what happened. It just kind of fizzled out. They didn't end up going out. So, that's how much I thought about him. So, I'll have to tell you the whole love story um, one day. But anyway, uh, you know, went through a divorce a few years later, and... And I will tell you that it all started because I had taken um, a New Testament class. We were all in school, working at the college. We had another college coming through, letting us work on our bachelor's degree. And I had taken a New Testament class, and he knew I had already taken it. We worked just right down the hall from each other. And so you really needed a study Bible to take that New Testament class. And he just was in there working on one of our computers one day, and he said, you know, I'm taking that class. And I said, well, it's not real easy. I'll just tell you that. I said, it's kind of hard. And so um, he asked me, he said, do you possibly have a study Bible that you're not using? And I said, I do. I said, I have several. And he said, um, would, would you mind if I borrowed one? And I said, absolutely not. I'll bring it to you. So I told him, I said, um, if you have any questions, just give me a call. I said, because this is a hard class. And it was a hard class. It was a lot of memorization, a lot of stuff that just normally you don't see. Even the roads through here. So I'm having to follow a pilot car. But it's really a truck. <laughs> but I didn't know they were paving this road to my mother's house. We'll go back the other way. Because, I mean, they have got it scraped down and they are paving it. The girl that's driving that truck was one of my students at the high school where I used to work. She sent me the sweetest um, birthday message yesterday, so she don't. I'll have to write her and tell her I was behind her, so she kind of takes the cars through there and everything. But anyway, he called me one night. I had given him my number, and he called me one night and was asking me something because you had to write a lot of essays, and you just—it was just—it was just a very complex, complex class. But anyway, and so we ended up talking for about two hours, and he was in a relationship with somebody. He was just asking me how I was doing. You know, he knew that I had um, gone through a divorce, and then we ended up taking a class together. And I just thought he was funny. I, I don't. I, I just can't tell you when it changed. It was just a God thing. It was a God thing, and uh, he has been so precious in my life. I just can't imagine life without him. So, boy, it's funny how when you get in the car, you start talking about stuff that you had no intention of talking about. So, but I had a great birthday. 
as many of y'all saw on our uh, Facebook page, over 500 Facebook messages and text, cards, phone calls. So, yeah, it makes a girl feel good. <laughs> I'm either really loved or I've either been around for so long that everybody around here knows me. <laughs> it's probably both. But anyway, it was a good birthday. John and I just went out to a, a different Mexican restaurant that we don't normally go to, one that's in downtown, a little downtown area. And so then either Friday night or Saturday night, um, the whole family's going out with Ashley and the boys. So anyway, and I got a new selfie printer to print my pictures on. So I'm really excited about that. I'll have to show that to you later. And obviously got flowers from somebody. So um, I'm going back to see who those flowers. But me and mother, it's actually pretty today. The wind was gusting around 30 miles an hour yesterday. And we were gonna get out and I just told her, I said, look, it is so cold and nasty. I don't wanna get out. And she said, I don't either. And so um, we didn't, oh, this driveway. <laughs> Bless her heart. So we decided we was gonna get out today and now the sun's shining and it is warmer, so. Um, It'll be a better day. We have no idea what we're going to do. We just know that it's going to involve food. Oh, and my Trim Healthy Mama update. I almost forgot it. Um, here she comes. Hold on. Head feels just like a gourd. Well, don't start cussing because I got the camera on. I'm not gonna cuss, <laughs> but I can rare kind of. What, what's wrong with your head? I don't know. I do this every now and then. It's kind of like it might be a little dizzy. Oh, dizzy. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's not any hooking. Okay. Hurt me. Pretty she looks in her purple. Well, I'm just gonna be real nice today. Oh, okay. You, she's crossing her legs and everything. Let that chair up. Let that seat, you know, down there. I, 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 I rare it I real far back. There's two. Oh, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Hello. <laughs> I was. Uh, they're paving the road up there. That's what took me so long. I had to sit and wait yeah. a long time. They're paving the Highway 78. Huh. Um, okay, so we're going. As I told them the other day, fiddle farting around. What you eating? Skittles. Yeah. I found it in the drawer. I didn't know I had it. Oh, you man. <laughs> I think well, as I eat this piece of candy, <laughs> I was gonna give you my trim, healthy mama update. I'm not done real good this past week. <laughs> I'm not done horrible, but I've not eaten good. And so I was up today for I the first time. I never do good. I never do good. You want to know how much weight I was up? How much? Two ounces. <laughs> well, that's something to worry. But I'm not going to say I maintained because I didn't because I'm up. But see, I maintained last week. And then I was up two ounces today. So I'm not going to say that I won't eat a bite of something sweet when we go out for my birthday this weekend. <laughs> but then after that... Your portion, hammer it? down, what do they call it? <laughs> hammer down the hatches. What is that called? Uh, I used to know, but I've lost stuff. Anyway, I it's done. back to uh, as I was sitting here eating this chocolate. It's her fault. It's back to heavy duty trim, healthy mama. I gotta get some more weight off. This was in a drawer, it was given me for Christmas, and I lost it, and so I found it, <laughs> and I'm eating it. <laughs> She lost her, but then she flounder. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, lobster. I lobster, but then I flounder. Have you ever heard that song? It's one of them old crazy country songs. So, But anyway, we're going fiddle farting around again today. <clears throat> we don't know where we're going. Oh, let me tell you this. Did you send me flowers? I got flowers. On, they just called me. So we got to go send back. I didn't them because I don't know how. <laughs> She didn't send them because she don't know I am. <laughs> She's going to buy my birthday present while we're out today. She we're going to go pick up that diamond necklace that I've She's been wanting. She's going to eat poopy and run. <laughs> uh, no, I got flowers, so they were just going to leave them on my porch, so we got to go back by there yeah. and see who sent me flowers the day after my birthday. There's some old nasty man. I you think it is? Mm. What makes you think that I would hang around nasty men? Well, I don't think you would, but nasty men have a way of doing things nasty men are after me That's well right. I totally confused my YouTube family because I mother I had over 500 Facebook messages <laughs> and text and everything yesterday I just got through telling them I'm either loved a lot or I've been around for so long that everybody knows me I <laughs> no, it does get to be that yeah 
so um but I told them I'd had a great 40th birthday and I said no nah, just kidding 50 was great so a lot of them thought I was 50 so I had to make a confession on here today that it was the big six oh you know but you being 50 it doesn't do anything for me no I'd be me being 60 because I'm her baby I know that and just think what kind of a shape I must be in I am her baby and I'm 60 so um <laughs> But she's got a birthday coming up in March. What are we going to do for your birthday? Nothing, if I can think. I'm going to try to forget it. Well, we won't do no big party, but I won't promise you that for the next year <laughs> when she turns 90. But she'll be 89 in March. So, well, I'll and tell you still what, kicking strong. I tell you what, the good Lord's been good to me. He has been good to you. Because I've not been the nicest person in the world. You have to. She's put <laughs> up with more crap than most women would ever dream of putting up with. So, And she's got me. I mean, dad gum. <laughs> she told me, you're the one time that me and your daddy didn't use protection <laughs> intentionally. I, I was that. like, she thanks, mother. <laughs> that makes me feel so wanted. <laughs> she said, but you weren't a mistake. You weren't a mistake. I said, well, that is so nice to know. <laughs> anyway. We're going to go and, uh, oh, I might have to show you my flowers when I get to the house, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. we'll be back in just a minute. <laughs> I cannot imagine who has sent flowers. This is going to be a big surprise. <laughs> Look at them, how pretty. Are they gorgeous? Look at that rose. <gasps> ah! My best friend from high school robin you stinker you stinker those are gorgeous why did you do that girl why did you do that you didn't have to do that aren't they beautiful look at this rose this is from my best friend from high school. And her birthday was February the 5th. And I didn't, to my always friend, Love Robin. Well, she's gonna make me cry. Aren't they gorgeous? Love them. Robin, I love you so much. Hey, did we have fun today? Yeah. Let me put this down so my chin, my double chin don't show And so I bad. had a nasty sweater on. <laughs> I'm a nasty old woman. We ate at Zoe's, <laughs> and that was Zoe. new. It was good. And it was real good. We had uh, chicken case. Oh. Don't ask me. You know me. <laughs> but it was good. And then we went and got you some new yarn. Yeah, and I go in there and twiddle some more. <laughs> And I'm going home and leaving twiddle britches here. <laughs> you get my age. If you twiddle, you're doing real good. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. It's been a good day. I got to go to the grocery store. And then going home, going to enjoy my pretty flowers. I called my friend from high school. Me and her were best friends for years and years. And as I, as I reminded her, her birthday was on the 5th. And as I reminded her when we were in high school, she was my hero, and I was her conscience. <laughs> I kept her out of a lot of trouble, but then I admired the guts that she had sometimes to do some stuff I wouldn't do. So that's what I told her today. Are you going in? You leaving me? Yeah, I thought I would, pal. Okay. But anyway, I'm fixing to head to the grocery store. Everything I got is tired. Everything she's got is tired. I guess if it's been hanging around as long as yours has. So. Uh, but I'm going to the grocery store, okay, but we went. Bye. Bye. We, uh, I went and got her some yarn and had a good day with her. She loves getting out and, and meandering around. And so that's what I try to do that at least once a week with her. So now I'm going by the grocery store and then going home and have my pajamas on in no time. Talk to y'all later. Bye.